Hi, Vili. What have the last few days been like? How did you find out about the trade and your reaction to it? Yeah, well, it kind of happened on the first day of the uh, draft, draft and uh, uh, got an idea that uh, Detroit was interesting and uh, interested. And um, then it, everything kind of just happened quick. And, um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm very happy to join the Detroit Red Wings and uh, historic team, you know, uh, 11 Stanley Cups. So I think it's, uh, it tells a lot. And uh, very, very excited to, uh, uh, when the season starts. Do you see it as an opportunity to kind of, I mean, St Steve has said, you know, both you and Alex obviously are going to, to play to just be, a, have a, a really good tandem. I mean, the, the schedule is so compact. Odds uh, are both of you are going to play quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like uh, on these days in the hockey, like it'll, it'll good, ha good to have uh, two goalies, two good goalies on the team. And, uh, and uh, I haven't met, uh, Alex yet, but uh, I'm looking forward for that. And um, yeah, uh, I think it will be a good goalie duo. Have you had a conversation with Steve Eisenman or? Yeah, yeah, I talked with him uh, just a quick little bit and, uh, when the contract was released and uh, or like came public and uh, just a quick chat and uh, probably we'll call, call we'll chat with him a couple of times in this upcoming days. Are you back in Finland or where are you? Uh, we're actually in St. Louis right now. We came here uh, to pack our stuff and we were in Florida for uh, for a bit and uh, going to head to Finland on Tuesday. Okay. So were you in Florida when you found out or? Yeah, we were there and uh, um, I was kind of at the TV on and was watching the, the NHL draft and then, uh, yeah. Was it a surprise or, I mean, kind of like, did your agent, like, how, how do you, how do you find Well, out? I kind of uh, knew uh, that uh, I would not stay with St. Louis. So then, uh, you know, kind of happened quick and I was all, all ready for it and excited. So really happy right now. Lastly, just do you have any history, any familiarity with anybody in Detroit or? Yeah, I mean, I know a couple of guys, uh, Oscar Sundquist, uh, yeah. Robbie Fabry, and uh, Jake Wallman. So, uh, uh, all what they said was really good things about the Detroit and uh, the fans and everything. So, uh, I'm looking forward for that. Thank you. Bob Duff? Uh, Billy, in St. Louis, you shared the net with Jordan Biddington, who kind of had the same career path to the NHL as you. You know, it was a battle to finally get your chance and now you, you come here and Alex has kind of traveled that same journey does that give you a, a, a shared experience like that give you a bond when you, obviously when you're a goalie tandem really the goalies are the only ones that really understand what it is that you do out there does it help to have a guy that's kind of shared your experience yeah I mean it's it's you know it's always uh, nice to have a good guy or part goalie partner with you and uh, um, me and pinning them where uh, you know pushing each other every day. And, uh, you know, I think that that's the one thing I learned from him. And I, I, uh, I you know, with Alex, I want to do the same thing and push, push each other uh, every day in the practice and the games. And, uh, you know, so going to get better every day too. And as you mentioned, there's, there's quite a St. Louis Blues alumni in the Red Wings dressing room. Uh, does it, help to make the transition you think when you've got guys like that that you know from the past uh yeah i think it's hopefully it will be good and um you know uh i'm pretty easy going guy so uh uh hopefully all the guys likes likes me and um um you know i, I think it will be fine okay thank you answer yeah, khan answer are you muted yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, Billy. Uh, just uh, in your uh, your two years in the NHL, just w what are some of the things that you've learned about the league while playing in the league, just handling the, the grind and everything? I think the biggest thing is for me the last couple of years. It's like the you know hard work and uh, there is no like day offs and um, like uh, the my mindset. Uh, you know. 
every day is just like when I get better and uh, um, you know on and off the ice. So uh, that's what maybe the biggest last two years and uh, and uh, the focus for the every day, the habits and uh, and uh, like I said, when I get better every day. Oh, there's been a lot of good uh, Finnish goalies in the NHL over the years. Is there anybody in particular that you uh, uh, kind of uh, my game after or that you looked up to? Well, you know, all these uh, Pekarina, Tukarask, when they were like, you know, before they uh, stopped playing. So I was, I was watching them and um, there's always been, you know, Finnish, Finnish goalies, Lehtonen, Kari Lehtonen. And uh, I always like, you know, Follow, follow them and uh, you know maybe when I was a little younger I would try to get some stuff you know how they hold the club or stuff like that but uh, uh, yeah I always like follow follow the other guys too. Thank you. Ted Colfin. Hey, really what how good did it feel to get your first real chance last season and you know take the ball and run with it basically I mean you showed what you could do in that in that respect. Yeah I mean it was you know um uh, the last last year was uh, got a really good start, and then uh, unfortunately I got uh, COVID on that time. I, I had to be um, I was out for like three weeks, and uh, that I didn't play. And then uh, you know all those little things kind of like I wanted to you know come back even better, and uh, and then I just got like you know a couple of good games and then it's easy to not easy but like easier to always go for the next one and then you get a couple of wins and uh you know just like the confidence level was was good and uh, um and then yeah you know like just having fun at the end of the day and uh going the smile in the rink that was the big thing now you do look at the stats though. I mean, the first half was the stats were unbelievable. The second half, maybe not quite as good. I mean, was there anything there? I mean, what was it the COVID or just what do you think? A little bit of a slump or what? No, I think it's, you know, I, I guess it's the hockey, hockey stuff and uh, every game is different. And, uh, uh, but yeah, for next year, I need to be on the level that I played in the, in the, that long part of the last season. And, uh, you know, that's my next goal for me every single night sounds good thanks for this thank you max boltman hey Billy. i'm just curious what uh, your impressions of playing against the red wings were what do you what do you think of them uh, from the perspective you've had so far well yeah it was uh, last year it was uh, their young team and talented guys there and uh, uh you know even like the staff Steve Eiserman, like I have a big respect for him and as a player and as a GM. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this opportunity. And then you and Nadelkovic are similar age, have played in a lot of leagues at the same time. Do you know him particularly well? Uh, no, I actually haven't never met him. Uh, I'm looking forward for that. And uh, yeah, I think I played against him in um, like three years ago. Uh, when we played in AHL, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to meet him. Thank you. Last question, Art Regner. Hey, Billy, I'm kind of curious about uh, uh, how you're, there's only two goalies on a team. You're kind of in competition with you, with each other, but how important is it for you to get along? Because as Bob, I guess, alluded to earlier, there's, you know, if anybody understands what you're going through, it's probably Alex Nadelkovic. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's important to have a good connection with the other guy. And uh, I think that's, you know, per personally me, like I, I, I like to, you know, be happy and uh, have a like, you know, just like good, good time when you go to the rink and, uh, you know, work hard. And, and uh, but at the end of the day, like it's your goalie partner and, uh, you, you you know, I think it's important you have a good connection with him. Uh, when, when this all came down, and I know it's been a bit of a whirlwind, and I know you're familiar, obviously, with the former Blues that were that are now Red Wings. Has any other Red Wings players reached out to you at all to welcome you to the club, or is it just too soon? Uh, I think I haven't get any messages yet. I mean, I've been busy to all the other stuff, so uh, um, I've 
hopefully though somebody gives me a text and uh but yeah like fab texted me right away and uh Wallman and uh it was nice to you know ch chat with them for a little bit uh in, in, in one final question um when you were moved and i know helena alluded to this uh, as well but um were you surprised that the extension everything just kind of came down so quickly that uh, no sooner were you a Red Wing and then you were uh, you were already signed to a three year deal. Yeah, you know, yeah, I was a little surprised, but uh, but, um, you know, I, I think for me, uh, uh, I wanted wanted to sign for like three years and, uh, you know, kind of um, settle things down and uh, get there now. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward for that. And uh, get to meet all the guys. Great. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, welcome to Detroit. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Those are all the questions we had. Thanks everyone for joining us. Billy, thanks for the time today. Thank you. Appreciate it.